Do you feel a little bit stuck when it comes to using Blender for Roblox Studio? If so, this video will help you out a ton. Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be covering a few things. Number one, how to import and export items. So if you make something in Blender, you can take it on over to Studio. The next thing is if you color something in Blender, how to make that color show up in Roblox Studio. Or if you wanna make something in Blender, and then color it in studio. We're gonna show you guys how to do that as well. I'll also tell you guys all of the most common errors and the best ways to fix each of those. So let's get started. Now, I'm gonna assume if you're watching this video, you already have Roblox Studio and already have Blender. These are two free programs and they're absolutely amazing for making games. The first thing we're gonna do, I assume you already have a model made. Let's go ahead and spawn something in just so we have something to play around with. There we go, something like that'll work. Now, if we have one object, as you can see here, we're in object mode and we select it and it is one thing. When we export this, and if we want to color it in studio, you're only going to be able to put one color on it. If you want to color it in studio, it needs to be different pieces. So if we tap into edit mode, we can press L on any object and that's going to select what that object is linked to. So let's just say we want to grab some random bricks. I'm just spamming L and hovering around something like this. Now we have a bunch of different bricks. We are going to press P and selection. And what that does is now we have two different items. So when we color in studio, we're going to be able to pick a color for this and a color for this. So let's push this one over to the side just for a moment. We'll have a separated one and a non-separated one. Now, before we leave Blender, I'm gonna show you guys how to color something in Blender. So when we go to studio, you'll be able to see both coloring methods. First things first, you're gonna wanna open up this UV editing tab. That is what's gonna show you whatever image you're texturing from. There's a lot of ways to texture in Blender, but for studio, I wouldn't really, uh, I wouldn't really go too crazy unless you want to get into substance painter that's a whole different video okay you're going to go to this uv editing tab click open and then find any image on your computer preferably one that has the colors you want to use a lot of people use color palettes but i don't have one right now so i'm just going to use this image right here now if we tab into edit mode we can press u and project from view now exactly what we see on this side is the same thing we see on the color side we'll call it the color side we can stretch this with g to move it s to scale it s and x to you know stretch it in whatever we want to do and put it wherever we want so let's say we wanted to have this sort of concrete texture on it we're going to put it right here and then we'll go back into edit mode go to this little uh checkered globe click new yellow dot right here image texture and then we'll click this drop down arrow and select the image that we just brought in now you might be saying bro there is no there's no texture on it guys hold z and move your mouse down to this material preview and now we can see that it does indeed have a texture it's kind of hard to tell so let's go ahead and move it over something that'll make it easy to tell there we go now it has this sort of gold to it. And now we're going to export all of this stuff. So we have three objects total, file, export, and we have two options here. You have .obj and .fbx. Now when it comes to FBX and OBJ, I always use FBX because I feel like there is always an issue with your texture on Roblox if you use OBJ. Even if you re-upload the image, half the time the texture does not come with it. There's probably a workaround to this, but I would just say click FBX, easy, all the way around. We have this textured model right here, and then these two untextured ones, file, export, FBX. Selected only. Into studio, click this little asset manager, and then bulk import icon. Click on your file, and then just click apply all. It's gonna import them just like that, then we can click all of these and import with location. As you can see, the image is on here, so it is textured and it's all one part if we go over to this one it is two parts so we could color one say black and the other one gold i think that pretty much covers importing now if your image did not come with you if there's just a blank canvas if they look the same if it's not textured all you have to do is go down here to its texture id click add image and then add whatever image you used to texture the model you'll only have to do this once because right when the image is on your profile it will use or it'll work for absolutely ever. So if you have a color palette that you use for every mesh, you're not gonna have to do that ever again. Now, a couple of the issues that you could run into. Number one is of course that texture not showing up and we already discussed how to fix that. 
Number two is invisible faces. Another word for that, and more technical word for that, is flipped faces. If we go in Blender, and let's just delete this one for now, we can go up to this little drop down menu and click face orientation. If all of them are blue, nothing is gonna be invisible. However, if some of them are red, all of these will be invisible, or you'll only be able to see this face from the other side, it's gonna look invisible. To fix this, all you have to do is go into edit mode, click A to select everything, and then press shift and N. That will recalculate all your normals, re-export, and it'll no longer be invisible. Number two, most common. No vertices found. Guys, uh, sometimes you just export nothing. I think if you export in edit mode, it just glitches out sometimes. Or if you're not selecting something, yeah, it can't find anything. And the last one is gonna be too many tries or too many vertices. It's been a long time since I've gotten the message. That's just meaning it exceeds Roblox, I think 10,000 limit. And the easiest way to uh, get rid of subverts, I'm not saying it's the best or most technically advanced way, but it is the easiest way, so we're gonna run with it. Let's grab a UV sphere, and then let's just crank it up. Rings, 475. I think I just crashed it. I think I, <laughs> I think I just crashed Blender. Guys, there's a modifier called Decimate, and just apply that to whatever you're using, and adjust the slider until you don't like how the model looks, and then bring it back up a little bit. It's gonna really mess up your topology, which it matters if you plan to work on the mesh again later, and also matters depending on platform, but on Roblox and most of the games that people are building, it's not really gonna matter too much. So there we have it, guys. Today we have learned OBJ, FBX, how to color in studio and in Blender, the most common issues and all the quickest fixes Oh my gosh, it's here. Look at that. You definitely can't import that to Roblox. I'll go ahead and show you guys for the for the people who are new to Blender. Modifiers wrench right here and decimate. Now we can just crank this all the way down. And as you can see, it's lagging because this is a very dense mesh. But now we just have a triangle. Let's put it at, I don't know, 0.3. Now we're back to a sphere. And if we apply this modifier, you can see it is a little bit less dense. I would recommend doing another one. Just keep stacking these. Now it is even less dense and it still looks completely the same as long as you're in object mode. Anyways, that is everything I think you need to know. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to them. Speaking of questions, every video I answer a few questions from the previous videos. Number one today, will we be able to do emotes or tricks on the bikes? Example, standing up on the bike or even for an actual emote. Maybe there could be one person getting dragged by their bike. Also, can we have trading? Cause I kinda wanna give some people one wheeled bikes to make them look like a clown. Um, <laughs> there's a lot there. Number one, yes, there will be tricks. Emotes, I'm not too sure. Number two, trading, eh, yes, but down the line. It's not something that I plan to release the game with. I wanna let uh, sort of a, a market, an in-game market build up. Let people start finding out like, hey, this is kind of rare and just have a lot of items before we add trading. And we don't wanna rush something like that because uh, when you add trading, you're basically adding d duping into your game. Like everyone's gonna just duplicate items. There's so many ways to do it. It's a scary thing. But yes, there will be tricks. Yes, there will be trading, but trading is sort of down the line. Question number two, are there gonna be scratches on the bikes? And you get lower income when you drive your bike. And can you pay to fix the scratches? Probably not. Now, I'm not gonna mark anything off entirely for the dream game because it's not even out yet. So I have no idea where it's gonna go after it's released. Of course, we're gonna try to follow what the community's asking for. But at the moment, there's not gonna be scratches on your bikes. You're able to fall. We may make some sort of a damage system, but even in the testing place, there's two issues that people seem to say. I hate that I fall so much. I'm sorry. It's not hard to not fall if you practice on the game. And number two, people don't like shifting, which is kind of tough. I'm not gonna mark it off yet, but I'm gonna say no for now. Question number three. When do you plan to release Ego Sim? Oh my God. Gosh, if you guys are new to the channel, a few weeks ago, maybe a month, maybe more, I don't know, I made a game called Ego Simulator. This game was completely made by myself, and I think it was 100 hours? Basically, there was a lot of bugs, and a lot of things that didn't really jive well with the game. So I hired a pro scripter to completely re-script the game, aka Robo, but then the new Call of Duty came out, 
and Robo hasn't really been online. I don't blame him at all. My man is camo grinding. So once he gets the mastery camo of whatever that is, I'm sure the Ego Sim revamp will be out. But guys, that is going to wrap it up for today. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.